Huh. I'm kind of confused. How have I never heard that noise before? That's the sound of breaking sandbags? That could be it. Yeah, it could be the breaking sandbag noise. I thought it was the dart, but it could be that sandbag there broke. And I don't hear that very often, so... That makes more sense than it, that it was the dart. <laughs> but yeah, that's a little... There must be two or three different designs for the front of the FEMA camps. That's a totally different one than I'm used to. But again, I got no particular reason to, to mess. So we'll just keep going. South and west. We're just trying to get south and west. Now, well, another gas opportunity and two more wing mirrors. I gotta do a wing mirror count. <laughs> I've lost track of how many wing mirrors I've got. Let's do uh, some accounting. Wing! Or no, it's hand mirrors when they're taken off. I've got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, can't have too many. Oh, look at all that diesel. How much can I fit? Uh, about 20 liters, 17 liters. We're going to end up leaving some behind. Duct tape! Random duct tape! Repair things till I run out of duct tape. No damaged parts on the vehicle. Yeah, still not true. I ran out of duct tape again. <laughs> it goes so fast. Is it just those two things? Yep, it's pretty much just those two things. Yep, didn't quite have enough. Only got 20 left. We need 25 for each. That's mostly back to what we need. And another light industry. Yet another building there's way too many of nowadays. Uh, we are on which side? Side with the tools is right here. There they are. Is that a jackhammer? Looks like a jackhammer. Hey there, jackhammer. I'm trying to remember, do I have a jackhammer? I think I have a jackhammer. Do I have a jackhammer? I can't remember if I have a jackhammer. Roll north. It's somewhere with a few less wasps. I can't remember if I have a jackhammer. I do not have a jackhammer. Do I want a jackhammer? I should probably grab a jackhammer. Hmm. Hmm. Not too many things I would use a jackhammer for right now. Hey, you guys. The Immortal Words of Goonies. Who was that? Chunk? Was it Chunk? I think it was Chunk. Hey, you guys. <laughs> it was Sloth. I know Sloth said it later. I thought Chunk said it first. Maybe it was just sloth. Oh, I know which one's which. <laughs> I remember uh, sloth doing it later. I just couldn't remember if he got that from uh, from Chunk. My poor memory. Uh, I was hoping to get it clean so I could just hop right in and grab. Yeah, I might have it clean enough. Let go of controls. Run mode. Hey, Jackhammer. Is 
<laughs> Exhausted my stamina almost instantly. Well, now we're stuck. We got no road. I'll fix the uh, stamina here in a minute. All right. Oh, right here in the middle's fine. So, uh, Tiva got 474 out of 1200. So, if you're not aware, they changed jackhammers. And um, how much does it use now? I forget. Electric jackhammers, I think, are still two uses. I think it's three uses for the gas. It's 400 per, something like that. Um, so it's the ratio is nowhere near what it used to be. It used to be 40 uses of the jackhammer for gas versus two for the electric. So the gas was just massively, massively preferable to the electric. Um, plus, it's, it's, it's lighter. It weighs less than the electric version does. Um, but now they've changed it and... Uh, gas jackhammer uses way more fuel than it used to but you know it's good to have options three four hundred I can't remember exactly I, I, I know it was down to something around there we'd have to use it to find out I don't have any standard gasoline in the vehicle with me we'd have to uh, throw some in a jerry can or something so we'll keep an eye out that's pretty simple easy easy uh, find even just a couple of gallons or something would do it. It's a warehouse. That means there's got to be a road. Or not a warehouse. A uh, dairy farm. How many zows? A zomble. Four, eight zombie cows. And Eleven regular cows. Let the uh, the cow slaughter commence. Ah. Well, there's my gasoline. Are they going to leave me alone? So, it's got the quad bike. This is going to be full of gas. This truck always has a ton of gas in it, like 80, 100 liters, something like that. Quad bike looks like it's in pretty good shape. Always love the quad bike. Crap, what is out front making noise? That is not good news. If it's that bee or one of the cows, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Golf club. Oh yeah, this is not good. How the hell did they get to me like this? Yeah, that is not good. We could be in for a world of hurt right now. Uh, how to deal with this? Because they're going to be fast and hit really hard. If they're out front... I don't think, I think they're too big to get through the window. I think they have to break the window frame or the wall in order to get through there. But there's also noise down here. Yep. Ah, oh, there's another one. Damn it. That a, oh, that's a regular cow. Me out of here. I just need to be faster than the cow. <laughs> that thing takes down walls. <laughs> All right. Sorry, cow. <laughs> Whoa, here comes the bull. Okay. I didn't expect them to come rampaging around like that. I think I got screwed a bit by the, that, the bee. I think they spotted me somewhat and the cows and then they rolled over this way. They saw the bee and they came out this way to get to the bee and then they spotted me or I don't know what they followed, but something drew them around. But yeah, unfortunately we're not going to be able to get the gas. There's usually a ton. Well, we still can. I can still do it. I just got to lead these guys up north. Come on, you guys. 
Come on, all of you. Need that last one. <laughs> There might be one or two more kind of scattered around. Just leave them behind. No, circle back. Zombie cow, where? Oh, just in the wrong spot. Can't see me too far. wait here for a moment, see if anything shows up. Yeah, we should be good. Uh, do I have any empty jerry cans? I've got a steel jerry can with diesel in it. We're full up on diesel. Uh, I could have emptied that jerry can earlier, but then I would have unemptied it <laughs> again. Alright, how about gallon jugs? I got no gallon jugs. Haven't been picking up any, huh? Um... Well, just to demonstrate my point. Yeah. <laughs> it's always this way. It's drivable. It's always drivable. Well, technically. Drive belt. So it's going to drive. It's going to. The battery is going to discharge without getting recharged by the alternator without the drive belt. But, uh, you know, technically you could drive it for a bit. But it's always got a ton of gas. More wing mirrors. And the quad bike. One of my favorites. Love the quad bike. What's wrong with you? Active immobilizer. Yep, can't get that moving without getting that deactivated. Uh, quad bike's fun. I'm not going to bother grabbing anything for now. Too much hassle. Gas isn't hard to find. Too much danger. There we go. Military helipad. We're going to ignore the helipad. Oh, I forgot we had the road that runs up that way. Um, no, let's just keep going southeast. We're going to ignore the helipad. Doesn't have anything I particularly need. And I don't like spoofing the turrets. Yep, that was a mine. I've killed all the miners in that new design and just looked around the top section, but I haven't... I've been told the mines themselves are different now, but I haven't experienced it for myself yet. Did they change turret ranges? No, turrets haven't changed. No time soon. I could cheese the turrets and go pop them instantly if no danger. I just don't like doing it, so. I'll demonstrate it on occasion, but it's not something I use in my own gameplay, typically. A bit too stinky of a brand of cheese. Whoa! <laughs> Woodland whites come charging out of the forest behind me. Oh, look at that. Another hunting supply store. What is with it? Now you guys put them on the edges of the towns, but any other game, you, you bury them in the hearts of megacities. <laughs> you can get hit by turrets out at 60. When you fire at them and don't destroy them, they get that return fire thing. But usually at that range, they, they're pretty bad at the accuracy. No, I, I had a death to a turret, I don't know, eight or ten challenges back that was not due so much to the turret. It was due to the wonky line of sight rules and being in shadow versus sunlight and the distances that it was it was doing. There, That's where the problem was with that turret death. It wasn't the turret and the ranges. <clears throat> that was the old light versus dark issue. show. Don't want to drive into town. Oops. 
Ah, can't believe <laughs> I got this hunting supplies door. I could just pop right out, torch the door, go grab my stuff, and take off again. Uh, I see nothing else I care about. We got the mushrooms. And this is one of these big double space houses. We'll hop in and take a look at it since we don't have any zombie presence nearby. Taken much in the way of whoops. <laughs> I haven't taken much in the way of my vitamins. I wonder if I'm gonna get scurvy this run. That'd be fun. <laughs> Let's do the upstairs downstairs before we go any further. Woodworking shop again. Lawn darts. Tons of nails. Nothing I particularly care about. Don't actually have Boyer's Buddy. Wow. Woodworking shop and the music studio. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. I got to get a banjo. And we got to have... Uh, what is it? Tallahassee? <laughs> Gotta do a Tallahassee run. The banjo is my weapon. What do we got? Bash of 16, minus two hit. 159 moves per attack. No special abilities. This will give us a uh, view bonus because we're going up onto the second floor. What did we learn? Library in Karatunk. Fairly inconvenient location. Yet another FEMA camp. Inactive fungal bloom. <coughs> and a pretty deep forest. So, choices are going to be down the road, and there's a little spur here. Hope that that continues down, or out to the east, where we know there's another town. guns and ammo, I just didn't read it. No duct tape. Always fun when you come back over the fence and you're, there's like a horde sitting at your vehicle waiting for you. Fungus does not grow outside of the reality bubble, no. So, 
the fungus is active because, you know, we've got fungus next to us. Um, the danger with fungus is that <clears throat> it only interacts while it's in your reality bubble, but the location of the central site, the bloom or the tower and so on, it will have a range outward that can be really, really far. So going to here and killing this doesn't do anything really because the fungal creatures, as you can see, are up here with me. They can be... The, the rough range that I always tell new players they have to be careful or aware of is about 16 spaces in every direction around this tower or bloom. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I've commonly seen fungal presence right at the start, day one, minute one. They, they will randomly scatter the fungal creatures in a huge circle, about 16 in every direction around this central point. So going over here and burning this down doesn't help you any. You have to actually chase down every single piece of the fungal critters within that huge area. If you miss even a single one and your character goes within the reality bubble of a mushroom hanging out in a, behind a tree, then the whole process starts over again. So it's almost, it, it, I'm not even gonna say almost, it is never worth trying to eradicate fungal from an area. It's just not worth it. Just just pick up and leave. If you, if you don't want to deal with it or be in the area with it, just go somewhere else. The world is infinite. <laughs> You're gonna spend a hell of a lot less time relocating than you are trying to stamp out a fungal. Uh, infestation. So, doop -doo -doop -doo -doo. they're not terribly dangerous if you know what they are and how they work and all that, but they can cause performance hits. So, depending on what machine you're running it on and other things, then you may not want them in your game. Perfectly fine to turn them off if you'd like to. I don't mind them at all. I find them helpful more than hurtful in the vast majority of my games. But I know how to how to maneuver around them, what's dangerous, what's not, and uh, I use them for distractions. Like right now, all these zombies are focused on the fungal, so I could pretty easily just wander around these houses looting and stuff. And there's no danger, um, as long as you don't step next to one of the fungus. So I could walk all around these areas, right on top of the beds, there's absolutely no danger. What you want to avoid is being adjacent to any of these fungal creatures. Whether they're the mushrooms, whether it's zombified versions, just just don't be adjacent to them, and you have zero chance of getting a fungal infection. All you gotta know. And these little poofball things, they are not dangerous. They do not cause fungal infections. You can step near or around them with no danger. It's just the uh, the creatures and the zombified versions, or fungified versions of the zombies and stuff. But the beds are not contagious, the puffballs are not contagious. You can walk over them or near them any all you want. That's pretty much it. And then just use the fungus as a distraction for the zombies and uh, loot away. Much, much better to have the fungus nearby than acid ants. <laughs> acid ants are the worst. Those I don't mess with. Does it catch fire? Oh yeah, it catches fire. You can burn it. But it's it's such a labor and time intensive process to try to do and it's almost impossible to get everything, it's just not worth it. You have no idea just how many fungal creatures there are in this huge radius. And if you miss a single one and you go to sleep and there's any of the fungal creatures within your reality bubble while you sleep, you'll wake up in the morning and your your countryside will be full of fungus again. <laughs> so it's just it's never worth it. Take my word for it. All the old experienced players are gonna tell you, don't bother. Unless you want to cross it off your bucket list for some reason. If it's a bucket list project, go for it. But for general gameplay, just find a vehicle and drive away. If you don't have a vehicle, grab a few critical items and walk down the road. Okay, we're going to take this uh, southern southern route first. The other problem is you have to keep the fire within your reality bubble. So you can't just set a bunch of fires, drive all over the place laying fires, because as soon as you move the reality bubble out of range of the fire, it freezes. It, it halts, literally. Um, so it goes into suspended animation. So you actually have to stay within reality bubble range of anything you want to burn, which is a really big hassle. If you could just light the fires and then drive off and light the fires and drive off and so on, 
It might be manageable. I still personally wouldn't bother, but it would be more manageable. But the fact that you have to stay within range with the reality bubble means that it's uh, it's just not worth it. So, this is not good. I was hoping we'd get a uh, road further south. I suspect this road might be ending at this farm as well. We got this big forest here. Uh, I got no need to go into the motel. Well, actually, a new map would be helpful. I don't have this area mapped, so... Yeah, let's do a drive-by. Which one do we got? So, the map is going to be in that office right there on the desk. Assuming there is one. How many zombies? What are you? Is that a boomer glutton? Is that that pink thing, a boomer glutton? Oh, look at that. There's some good artwork. Oh, that's cool. That's a good one. I like that one. Now that is a unique piece of artwork. <laughs> good old boomer glutton. Large, grotesque ball of flesh and fat. Seemingly vestigial limbs flop around haphazardly as it rolls across the ground. You occasionally catch a glimpse of bulging eyes and distended gaping maw oozing some sort of black sludge. Previously, the uh, the uh, the previous when we were using UDP, the uh, the boomer glutton looked like Chet <laughs> from Weird Science. I like this one better though. Uh, so let's see. Just run around these guys, draw them away, shoot them. I don't want to waste fifty cal on these guys. Who's, who's that behind me? Hey there. Oh, he's over there playing with uh, poof balls. We have poof balls all the way down here? Oh, yeah, still. See, see? There's the thing. We have poof balls down here <laughs> from the fungal. Right there. So, I just need to get these guys in range of the poof balls. Or we'll run over whatever I'm missing. You're going to make me shoot that boomer glutton. Yeah, he's stuck in the vehicle. I think I'll just try to outrun him. Let's just stop here. Alright, not overweight. We've got full maneuverability. So far, I haven't seen anything I'm too concerned about. We've got our rifle in our hands. Oh yeah, these are the broken mirrors. They're not actually on the ground. Oh, that one is. Ah, I think it's still attached. <laughs> is it still attached? All inventory. It is. Not going to worry about it. Hey, there's my gas container. <laughs> I just need to pop a steel drum into the back filled with gas. I got enough space. I'm not using most of my available space. Hmm. Let's go see if we've got... Oh, he's out. Let's go see if we've got uh, a map first. Yes, we do. What a surprise. Shocked and amazed. Zombie got stuck in the back of the car. Um, I'm not going to grab a steel drum. Or am I? Yeah, let's go ahead. That way if I do come across... A high, big source of diesel or something, I can use it. McGlutton's on his way over. He's going to bang on my vehicle. All right, you. In you go. Hey, Boomer Glutton. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> I like that piece of art. That's good stuff. Get out of the way, shroomies. Yep, 
Yep, dead end. Unless I want to chase down through the, the plane here and hope. Let's pop up onto the uh, silo for a look around real quick. And it's so much faster now that they lined up all the ladders. Well, good to know. Good to know. We could technically actually get to this city. There's a mansion. Yeah, we could get there from here because we could come down. And anytime you have these diagonals, you can actually get through these pretty easily with a vehicle. So we could come down through the diagonals and then around and either in here or right here. So technically we could make it. I have no reason to care about any of this. So far, that's the only way I could get to this road network down here. No other way looking like to get down that far. Hmm. So my choice is to do that or backtrack up. I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to go right through the center of town to get to there. Hmm. So either way, I'm gonna have to drive through a town. I might be able to get onto a roof or something here. Get a little better look at the town, see how big it is. We can't see the nameplate yet. Oh, I haven't used my map yet. Hey there, map. Let's do that. <laughs> That'll actually help me quite a bit for planning. What's my storage doing? 300, 235, 215, 94, 105. All right, nothing's anywhere close to having a problem. Let's look at this again. So, just barely can't see the nameplate for previously. Uh, so, this would be a little tougher if I wanted to go south. I'd have to go in, come around, down, and out this way. Or in and out this way. I would love to get the, another opportunity to mansion. We're still really, really trying to get a hold of some... Some armor. I wish I could get a hold of some chain mail or even plate mail before we try to take on the logistics facility. There's a pretty good road network down that way, so it's probably more the direction I'd like to head. Albion. But we'd have to drive through a significant portion of the city to get to the road out in any of the... Well, this we might be have a clear break for. But I don't want to go north. Hmm. Yeah, I think either of these would work. I think I'm going to go through this town. We're going to go through New Portland. And depending on circumstances when we get over here, I might just go straight through and then up to check out the mansion. And I can come back down. Looks like it might open up a bit where we can connect to this road. And if not, we'll just, you know, pile drive on through and go out that way. That looks like a more interesting trip to me. Why are we collecting mirrors? <laughs> yeah, the mirrors constantly break. Yeah, I just haven't come across. I forget. I should have looked. I forgot to check when we uh, were at that uh, the military vehicle where I got the extra belt for the 50 cal. I don't remember what the siding on that was, if it was um, steel, because... The shock absorbers, I need steel plating. I don't know if, I don't remember if it was mili military composite on that or if it was steel plating. So I don't have a simple steel plating. I can get springs easily all over the place. So I, I just honestly don't care. <laughs> it's just, I just don't care. I mean, as we're driving around, I'm collecting so many mirrors. And on the occasions where I bust them, I'll just throw in some extras. It's really not good. Even if I don't have any mirrors, it's not that big a deal. I like having 360 degree vision around the vehicle, but I don't need it, so. It's a want, or it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a want, it's not a need. <laughs> but we're up to like 14 spare mirrors now, so we're good to go for quite a while. <laughs> but anytime I'm ramming things, the mirrors are the first things to go. 
just about nothing else. Pretty much it's just the mirrors. It's, it takes an awful lot of damage to destroy anything else. Assuming you're not ramming into solid buildings or vehicles and stuff. You're restricting yourself to squishy target ramming. So, here come those diagonals I was talking about. It's the rare one that you have to do anything special to get through the diagonals. I try to avoid hitting certain things. <laughs> Scale jugs, hulks, uh, the big boomers. Those types of things I usually go around instead of through if I can manage it. But with heavy frames and military composite armor plating, there's not too many things that are going to do much damage to your vehicle. Where is the wasp? Back there. Should be far enough we're not going to be a, have a problem. Surprise, we haven't seen a zombie yet. So, if you don't know, um, when you take wing mirrors off of the semis and buses and all those things, when you install them on your vehicle, my recommendation is not to install them as wing mirrors. You install them on the front corners here as inboard mirrors instead, because they're going to be a lot less likely to get snapped off by a bush or a zombie that you're driving by, things like that. So, they won't just just instantly snap off as a wing mirror will typically do. Um, but if you start ramming things, the damage propagation, when I hit things with the front end here, damage values propagate inwards from the point of impact and mirrors are super fragile. So even though I'm hitting something from like right here, the damage propagates into the vehicle a certain distance. And I don't know the formulas, but um, things on the front end here will have a chance of getting damaged and the inboard mirror is pretty much the only thing you have to worry about. You have to do a whole lot of ramming to lose anything else. As long as you drive through the city, kill whatever you need to kill. Um, I don't often turn if I don't have to. I'll go through things rather than going around them, barring certain very specific cir circumstances. But if you just go through and then immediately stop and uh, do repairs, you'll, you shouldn't ever lose anything. Other than the mirrors. So inboard mirror, inboard mirror. Everything else is plenty tough. The frame and the composite armor on the front end here takes a lot of hammering to uh, do any damage to it. All right, so let's go uh, do some free looting, I guess. Still haven't found any really fun basements recently. Baseball bats, but I can't find any baseballs. <laughs> Why are there so many bats, but so few balls? What's going on? What's up with that? I love how they, they put dodge training in the game, but <laughs> they, they put, they tied it to items that you can't find. Baseball cap. <laughs> So, somebody's banging away at something. Whoops. Necromancer. Duct tape! They do exist in the kitchens. Debating if I want to climb up on the roof. Hey, Dex, huh? Want to risk falling down? This does not have a convenient fence I can use to climb up. Still have my stepladder, though, right? I think I have my stepladder. Stepladder. Destination area is full. All right, wear, phaser, kill, and wield. Better. Yeah, 
Activate. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, <laughs> very first step ladder. Up we go. Take a look around. Eh, didn't learn me much. Looks like we do. If I could see those two spaces, I'd know for sure. Looks like we might have a route, clear route to that road network. But I'm still thinking it's best to go straight through and up. Go check out the mansion and come back down, connect to this road network. Eh, depending on whether that forces me to dump right into the city or not. We'll see. I think we might have a clean shot this direction too. Who knows? Climb down. Give me my stepladder. The power of the stepladder. Oh yeah, I'm not forgetting to look for balls. There just aren't any. I think I'm literally gonna have to hit a sporting goods store. I have I remember seeing them on rare occasions, but jeez, I haven't seen one so far in this one. Since we started paying attention. <laughs> sporting goods store right there. A little too centralized though. Okay. And repair while driving, fine. I think that was the only other thing. Now we're back up to pristine condition. Other than the storage batteries. Can't repair those. Um, we're still obese. Hit points are good. A little bit of pain, really? Yeah, have an aspirin. Okay, so is it this road? It must be this road. It is this road. So I'm either going all straight through, and then I'll turn up here, or depending on how it looks when I approach this intersection, I may go up like so. Always good to have an idea of what route you're going to take and what alternates you might need to use if there's like a, a roadblock or uh, wrecked cars blocking the, uh, the road, things like that. What you don't want to do is back up. <laughs> That's usually a, a bad indication if you're having to back up. So when you're approaching crowds like this while driving, you want to get into position and then be orthogonal, meaning lined up directly east-west or north-south when you go by, because you need to avoid angles or turns, the diagonals that allow hitchhikers. So now that I've I've got the lane that I want. I'm going to kick my speed up a lot higher so I can zip through this group before they close in in front of me. When I get to about here, I'll slow down again and then keep moving. But I shouldn't need to change my angle until I get past the group. So, kick our speed up. Change the angle just slightly. If you do light changes, then they can't step into the gap. Uh-oh, scale jug ahead. How am I going to set this turn up? Hmm. Am I? No matter what, I need to drift south a bit because I'm either going to take the angle here, which is going to be rough with a scale jug, or I'm going to blitzkrieg straight on through and commit to getting to the end of the block. Alternately, I'd have to do a really hard turn on the far end here, which would be a little rough at the speed I'd be going. You want to slow down before you make that kind of a hard turn and it would give these guys too much time to get near the vehicle. Look at the park. The joy of double zombies. <laughs> and late evolution. <laughs> Good times. Those dissolute devourers are sucking up zombies like crazy. Yeah, there's a few. 300. 300 zombies. No problem. Okay. Another option would be to uh, remove the roadblock, the, the scale jug, and take that corner like I want to. I just have to give myself enough room to hit him two or three times with the 50 cal. So we're 
We're going to hold this line for the moment. Um, I'm going to end up running over the boomer, which I don't like. I don't like running over boomers. If I try to make the hard turn here, we're going to have to get, we're going to have to be moving fast enough while turning to take out the uh, traffic light. I don't know. If the scale jug weren't here, I'd probably take this angle. But it's looking pretty clear back here. I think I'm just going to push straight forward. So let's kick the speed up again. Try to get past that scale jug before he gets in front of us. Hmm. We're looking pretty clear on the turn to the north. Nothing near. By the time I get to here, I'd be able to pretty easily make that corner go over the street light. I like that option because it's... I can almost already see to the... Uh, that it's clear. There's only two houses and then it opens up, so it, it looks like a clear escape. Whereas I can't quite see far enough down this way, there could be an obstruction I can't see. Let's, uh, let's lower the speed a bit. Now that I got the only guy near me out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and drop speed again. We're going to do the fast pivot here. Kick the speed back up. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's, that's some... Oh, hello, Mr. Hulk. <laughs> that's some professional driving right there. I missed everything on my way through. Didn't hit the street light. Didn't hit the zombies. There you go. That's a good example of uh, maneuvering in a city and kind of the thought process behind uh, what I'm thinking of while I'm doing that kind of stuff. I like doing that kind of stuff. I find it interesting. Uh, interesting tactical puzzle. Anticipating uh, the, the problems and uh, coming up with ways of getting around them. Learning how fast and slow you need to go for turning radiuses and what you can and can't fit, fit the vehicle into. Why I also like doing the um, the Humvee. It's it's big enough to, to have everything in it that I need, but small enough that I can still maneuver fairly nimbly in uh, pretty tight quarters. So, and it's durable as hell. Well, I love those things. And I didn't kill myself on the bike. Yes, I did spot I did spot the scooter. <laughs> I don't mess with scooters. If you don't know why, you need to go visit my YouTube channel. Look up Vormithrax and Scooter. <laughs> okay, so another mansion with terrible access. Terrible access. I need to be able to get to the front, aiming my headlights into the front entry area. But I have no maneuverability. I've got no field I can draw zombies out into or anything. So, that's going to make this a little trickier. Thinking, what do we got? One, two, and a half. We won't be able to get the direct front area. But I think I'm going to shoot something and try to draw zombies to the back side here. It's going to make coming back around a little bit of a hassle <laughs> when I fill this road with enemies and I have to go through them on the way back out again. But, you know, who do I hate? I guess it's the brute. I guess I hate the brute. Hey, Mr. Brute. Thanks for volunteering. Now we'll slow down because I want to give the zombies inside the mansion time to uh, come out of the mansion. You know, except for this guy. Ah, still didn't get him. <laughs> He's almost done. Edge into him a few more times. Still didn't get him. Yeah. I'll have to take that for as good as I'm going to get for the moment. Alright, so here's the problem. So we're going to stop right here. I'm going to let these guys that can see me come towards me. I'm going to pull them towards me. When they get a little closer, I'll gun it and I'll hook around. And then try to get my view. I'm trying to get a look in the entry hall here to see if it shows any armor on the mannequins. So, 
Well, that wasn't exactly how I wanted to do that. <laughs> that was a terrible example. Another boomer glutton in the front. So now the trick is I've got to get the vehicle pointing into this front area, both sides, this corner and this corner, while these guys are coming at me without them getting close enough to diagonal hitchhike into the vehicle. I'm not sure I can manage it. Might have to do a little creative. Uh, I see something in a display case, but that's not what I'm looking for. Bondage mask. I don't think this one has the mannequins in the front area for me to try to get anything from. Uh, and I'd have to kill an awful lot of these things to have free access to the upper floor to check there. So we need to get straightened out. That's the most important thing. Avoid the diagonals while there's enemies directly adjacent. And I've got a pretty clean run straight north. So. Let's see. Loop these guys out and then come back. Goodbye, Gargoyle. Alright, now that the fast mover is down. <laughs> hmm. Let's not connect them up with the other group. They're far enough that I can get the lead that I need. Ah, of course, the uh, slavering biter is the one that's still right next to me. Necro Boomer steps out. I saw a giant wasp on the list. I'm paranoid about the wasps because I commonly can't see them. Their graphic is so small. It might slip into the vehicle with me <laughs> when I'm not looking. Or when I'm not noticing. Alright, come get me up here, zombies. Try to slip through the crowd again. Oh, another gargoyle. No. Oof. Damn it, stupid slavering biter! <laughs> Get out of there! Now, unfortunately, it's apparently very difficult to uh, code something that prevents zombies from getting into the vehicle. It's been an issue slash problem for a very long time. Nobody has managed to come up with a solution that actually works. So... You would think it'd be a fairly simple thing, but apparently it is not. I got two little guys next to me. Three more coming. So close. I don't want to use the gun. I don't want to... Too close to the vehicle. I'm tempted to just run in and check and then try to run back out again, but... It's awful dangerous. Especially with that hunter. Let's do it anyway. We need to spice things up. Oh, no, no. Not that spicy. Not that spicy. Do not grab me. 
Do not grab me. <laughs> oh crap. This is... let's see... go this way... Oof! Almost! Almost! <laughs> yeah! Glad I changed direction. I almost tried to get into the vehicle from the driver's side. It was a bad tactical option because the other guys were near me, and when I stepped into this position here, they would have been adjacent. And when I stepped into this position, one of them would have been in the doorway with me, guaranteed. And then the shock zombie would have been, would have been hammering me with the shocks. By changing directions, I was able to get around the vehicle. I knew these guys would mostly line up on the vehicle trying to get to me. I was just hoping I could stay ahead of the hunter. I managed to get in. They're all blocked out. So it's always important to park your vehicle on the orthogonal also. So there's no diagonal gaps they can just step into. Now we just need to, uh, you know, get the vehicle going. Back out of this little mess. Boomer Glutton's coming again. I could go back and forth, back and forth, and, uh, you know, run most of these guys over and shoot the Boomer Glutton, I guess. That's the kind of, that, that example is a good tactical example of the, making the right decision, the non-obvious right decision, um, that I recognize the danger right away. I probably should have stopped and explained the reasoning behind it for newer folks that were watching. But, um, yeah, going directly into the vehicle was the bad choice. Going around was the good choice. For the reasons mentioned. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and back up. Stop. Go forward. Clean some things up. And we'll stop. And we'll back up. We'll slow down. Whoa, big boy! <laughs> big boy! Takes 250 cal from point blank range. That's a beefy one. Yeah, let's take out the light post. Fifty cal is going to get a lot more attention than I wanted. I was hoping to do this without using it. Need to draw these guys. I need to see how the crowd is moving towards me. Yeah, a few of them from the north. Hmm. I don't know how much more I want to do of this back and forth stuff. Now that I've committed some, uh, some bumper chrome and some 50 cal ammo, I'm loath to just walk away. He necro boomed some corpses up. <laughs> Get out of the car and use some of your bullets. <laughs> Probably. As long as I spaced them out appropriately. Welder powers faster than the uh, the bullets, though. Looks like I've destroyed at least one of my my inboard mirrors. Shocker's back up. 